Hello, my name is Laurent Butre and today I will show you how to create a SharePoint in three steps in less than 10 minutes. First one, let's open an account. Let's go to appsforrent.com, so www.appsforrent.com. That's a hosting company. They have different offers. One of them is the SharePoint, so click on SharePoint and you will see the different size of hosting from one gigabyte to uh, 75 gigabytes. So today I will take the first uh, entry level, so the $9 per month uh, SharePoint. Uh, that's way enough to collaborate with a team for a project. So that's what I'm going to select. Uh, click on continue. You can purchase a domain name if you don't have it. Uh, if you already have a domain name that you can use and you can set a uh, redirection, you can use it uh, there. So in my case, I already have .butre.fr, so I will use that as a top domain. Uh, here I'm going to put the uh, address that I want for my SharePoint, so sharepoint.butre.fr. I will give the uh, username for the billing information and uh, the top domain. If you put SharePoint at betray.fr as a referrer, uh, I will get a little commission for that. So here is add to your cart and now you have to check out. Uh, when you check out, it will ask you for your information. So here I'm going to fill up my first name, Laurent betray and my email address sharepoint uh, at betray.fr that you can use as a refer. Please pick up a secure password uh, for your billing interface, uh, very important. Going to fill up my address and the payment details and then you complete the order. Uh, after that order, you will receive a couple of emails. One of them will give you uh, the credentials to go to your control panel. That's the second step. So go to the control panel um, and log on with the credential from that welcome email. If you haven't received the welcome email, you can always chat with them online and they will help you. So on the control panel, cp.dataoncloud.com enter your username uh, provided from that welcome email and the password, click sign in. I suggest to change that password right away. Anyway, that's your interface for your control panel. Uh, three things to do uh, before uh, having your SharePoint 2013 site uh, ready. So the first one is to add your domain. Uh, if you purchase your domain name, it will be set up there. Uh, in my case, I just need to enter and that sharepoint.betray.fr, which I pointed uh, with a C name to their server, and I add the domain now. So that's the top level that you need to create. It's basically uh, the pointer uh, for where the SharePoint will be accessible from. Uh, once you have the domain, the next step uh, to do by clicking account home is to create your organization. Organization is really uh, the top architecture. Um, here you can put whatever name you want. So I'm selecting my last name. Uh, organization ID is um, org unit if you want. Uh, you can set whatever you want as well here. That's where all your users that you would create will actually fall in the Active Directory, if you know what it is. Um, so once your uh, domain is created and uh, your organization is created, let's add some users. You want to create users that will have full administrative rights uh, to the site, to the SharePoint site, as well as uh, anybody that needs to contribute to your site, uh, to that collaboration space. Um, so you create first name, last name, uh, email address on the domain that you created. Uh, may or may not be active addresses. You can always change that later on. Select strong password, of course, and create uh, your user. So that's the first user created. Uh, in my case, that will be the one uh, having full access on the site. Uh, you can then repeat that uh, step as many times as you want uh, to uh, create all the collaborators on that site. 
tool here I'm going to create John Doe um, John Doe at SharePoint.Patreon.fr and again secure a uh, strong password for that user. So now that you have several users uh, created you can always come back to that control panel to add or remove users later on. Let's go to the next step which is actually to create the site, the SharePoint site. So that's called a site collection. With your contract you have one site collection that you can create. So once you're on that page click on new site collection you could always, if you don't like what you have, delete it and recreate a new one. So that's the web address where the SharePoint 2013 site will be accessible. Click on the address book icon to select the user that will be full admin of the site. Select the language. I could pick up French here, but I'm going just to select English. Okay, and you can put a title and a description. Uh, put whatever you want here uh, because that's the uh, site owner description. Actually, this title and this description is the uh, name of the site, the SharePoint site that you are going to create and the description for it. Uh, you can always change that once you will be on the SharePoint 2013 via the um, uh, settings menus. Uh, I will do other videos to uh, explain how uh, we can use SharePoint, how we can uh, hook it up to Outlook, how we can share tasks among a team, how we can share calendars among a teams and collaborate and make things easier for your project. So here the site is getting created. Uh, we just completed the second step. The next step will be to actually get uh, into the SharePoint 2013 and set the template. So here we did the domain, we did the organization, we did the users, we just created the, the site collection. Let's just log out and use the email address that you created for these users to log in into your SharePoint. So now accessing the SharePoint. So that, that was the address that I set up, the www.sharepoint.bitray.fr. It will prompt me for my credentials. And uh, here I use the email address that I set up for that user on that domain. So Laurent at SharePoint.Betray.fr, I use my secure password, click login. So the first time you will be redirected to that site, uh, it will ask you which template you want to use. You can go from blog to a team site, uh, to a developer site. In my case, I'm going to use the team site. It's going to create some items, ca um, galleries and uh, elements inside the SharePoint. Uh, to manage my project. I will describe that in another video as I said. So now I click OK. The site template is being applied to sh your SharePoint 2013 and within a few seconds that site will be ready for you. OK, so the template has been applied. Uh, now the security is go are going to be applied. There are three groups by default for SharePoint 2013. There is the reader, uh, there is the members that can contribute, and the owner that can do anything they want on the site. So here on the contributor, I'm going to add my second user, uh, so that user will be able to actually join. You just type the email address, john at sharepoint.betray.fr, and click on the little uh, persona to check that email and convert it with their name. So now I have two contributors, I have one owner to the site, I can click on OK. Security will be applied to your site um, and now you can access your data onto that site. And that's it. In 10 minutes you have a SharePoint site uh, created from apps for rent and you can use my email address as a referrer. That would be uh, great. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.